what's going on ladies and gentlemen boys and girls how are you guys doing this video was inspired by an event that happened today where I was in my sociology class and I heard this kid talking about uh, some topics they're talking about in their participation in government class where I don't take that class I take AP government so I don't know what they really do but <laughs> He was talking about a subject to my teacher, and it was about, like, I didn't hear the full conversation, but apparently they do a shitload of debates, and all I hear come out of his mouth was that he, he, I, he said, I'm against immigration, and that kind of made me laugh out loud, I kind of accidentally laughed uh, in the middle of the room, and yeah. Felt kind of shitty about it because, you know, I'm pretty sure he might have heard me. But it was pretty stupid of him to say, saying he's against immigration. I, I don't understand how anyone could be against immigration. I think what he probably means to say is illegal <laughs> immigration. Um, I mean, I, I don't know one person who would be against immigration. <laughs> people People shouldn't. We, we should be isolated from the rest of the world. No one else should be allowed in our country. Can you imagine people like that? Like, how, how do you sleep at night? <laughs> but, uh, I kind of, I just want to brush up on this topic. It kind of got me rolling on a rant inside my head during class. So, I just want to uh, tell you guys a little bit my opinions on immigration slash illegal immigration. And, um... Let's just start off with the legal. I mean, obviously, people are mostly, I hope, fine with immigration in general. And the misconception between illegal and regular immigration pisses me off because it's so basic, such basic knowledge that uh, I don't know why our public schools aren't fucking telling our kids this. Uh, our kids, I mean me and people in my generation this. Uh, but anyway, illegal immigration. People in this generation despise people who come into this country and a lot of times a lot of the times we stereotype all of them as illegal immigrants and that alone just shows the bigotry and arrogance of our country and it's kind of sad but legal immigration in my opinion is pretty it's it should not happen i do not blame the people in my opinion uh it's not their fault they just want jobs the people who I blame for this shit is corporations and the businesses that hire them and then go out and say we should deport them all. Well, not deport them all, but, you know, build up the border and all that shit because when you think about it, if you deport all these uh, people from, the like, Mexico and all these countries, I'm not saying that they're, that's the only people uh, place people come from, but that, for the most part, is where people emph emph emphasize the most. Well, if you get rid of all those people, well, who's gonna who's gonna deliver the pizzas? <laughs> that that's um, the kind of double entendre between the big businesses and the corporations who employ these illegal immig illegal immigrants. Um, you you have to blame them because these people are coming for work and opportunity, and not only are they not uh, these businesses not giving them equal opportunity they are abusing them paying them not even the minimum wage because they're not citizens so they don't get the minimum wage and if they if they try to ask for a higher wage or if they want more of anything if they want to unionize um they can't because they could easily just as they hire them they could just easily deport them so i do not in any way i just got raped right there damn um blame these citizens uh, i'm not gonna say citizens um these people who should be citizens, we definitely should have an easier citizen, uh, pathway to citizenship. I, I just, I hate it when people just cluster groups together. And these, these people need our help. They're the people who mow your lawn. Sometimes, if you're one of those people, the people who mow your lawn, people who rake your leaves. And, Guess what? They don't have health insurance. They don't have anything. And they're still thankful to be in this country just because America is supposed to be the land of the free. People are people risk their lives just to get here. Cross the border. 
because as we all know, our immigration system sucks. My friend's been here since he was, uh, I don't know, elementary school, and he's still not a full citizen yet, and it's it's crazy. I think if I think if you've been in the country a certain amount of like less than maybe you know, if you have if you have a job and you know everything's going well for you, uh, you're not. Oh, you can also get in here with a, uh, I forget what it's called, not a permit, but a visa. If you don't have a visa and you still want to become a citizen, if you still want to live in the United States, they should definitely shorten the process. Just get rid of all those loopholes and crap that fucks with everyone and just stop the bigotry, stop the arrogance, and just come together as one because we're all part of the same race, the human race. That sounded so, uh, so like teachery. Right there. But, you know, it's a big issue and it's an annoying issue. And it just drives me crazy when people fuck it up. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me. Uh, if you liked the video, remember to like the video. Share it with all of your friends, your best friends, even your worst friends, your nemesis, your nemeses. I don't give a shit. Just like, favorite, subscribe. I gotta go. Bye.